Good morning students. I hope everyone is doing great today. Now this is a review lesson for us, but before that I want you to open your book on page 67. Okay? So today we are going to talk about materials and we said that materials are anything that are not alive and materials can also undergo through changes and materials can be changed by first forces such as squashing for example a sponge so we can actually um, squash it or the dough that we are using to bake a bread another one folding or bending so example we have our papers we can actually fold it into um, pieces or we can also bend it another one we also have twist so for example the thread or the dough that we are baking so before we bake it we can actually twist it another one we have stretching for example the rubber band or the ponytails that we are using to um um, to ponytail our hair. Now, the next one. So, materials can also change through heating. So, it can be changed from one form into another. So, for example, some solid materials can turn into a liquid material. Example, we have a chocolate bar. If we are going to melt it, it will be a melted chocolate. Um, butter. If we are going to melt it, it will become a melted butter, which is a liquid material. Another one, um, it can also be changed from one substance into another substance. So for example, some soft materials can be um, or can turn into a hard material. We have a clay. If we are going to bake a clay and make a pot, it will become hard. Next one, a paper. So if we are going to burn a paper, it will turn into an ash. Another one, the dough. After we knead it, it can actually turn into a bread after we bake it. And the last one will be uncooked egg. So first, it's actually a liquid material. And then after we cooked it, it will become a solid material. Another one changes um, through cooling. So first, we can change it from one form into another. So for example, we have the water. If we are going to put water inside the fridge, it will turn into an ice. Next one, a melted chocolate. So after we melt a chocolate, if we actually put it inside the fridge, it becomes a chocolate bar again. Next one, fruit juice. If we put it inside the fridge, it can turn into a popsicle. And then, also a liquid jelly mixture so if after we mix the jelly and then we just have to cool it down it becomes firm and wobbly now another one materials can also be changed if we are going to mix it with water so from one form into another for example we have sand so if sand will be mixed into or mixed with water um, the tiny grains will actually stick together. That is why we can make sand castles out of it. Next one, we also have uh, flour. So if we mix uh, water with flour, it will actually turn into a dough, which we can squash or twist before we bake. Another one we have here. So um, materials can also be changed by the process of dissolving. Dissolving, um, dissolving means that the materials will actually disappear. So for example, we have sugar, we have salt, we have coffee. If we are going to mix these materials with water, it actually disappears. However, there are some materials that actually it doesn't disappear even if we um, mix it with water. So for example, we have sand. No matter how we stir a sand with water, uh, the tiny grains remains the same. Next one, we also have here man-made materials. So we have glass. So for glass, we can actually mix it with sand and we can produce glass containers. We also have here 
plastic. So if we are going to use plastic and mix it with oil, and we can actually produce plastic toys or any toys that we can um, play. So um, I'll be posting some worksheets on our platform and uh, just open your um, textbook for more examples. Like what I said, turn it to page 67. Thank you for listening, student, and you have a good day.